this video is for parents and possibly students at Orange County Public Schools. This year, we're in the 2019-2020 school year, so this year things have changed a lot. They introduced Skyward and Canvas, I think, was around last year or maybe even longer than that, but Skyward is new and I want to teach you how to check grades and to see what homework is coming up. You're going to go to Google and you can, you can either, I know this works on Google Chrome and Firefox. I'm not sure of the other browsers, but it probably will. Um, I already have a bookmark here for Launchpad. You see that right there? But if you've never been on it, <clears throat> what you can do is type in Launchpad. OCPS and hit enter and then you will see the link. So it is right here. It's https colon forward slash forward slash launch launchpad dot class link dot com forward slash OCPS. So you click on that and you should see the screen. Now, um, <clears throat> Launchpad is where you're going to find everything that your student needs for school. You see this right here, parent login. If you're the parent, you can log in there. Um, I don't know how that's gonna, if that's gonna look any different than the student login, but your school should have given you the information to log on. And if you don't have that, you could contact them. Um, but your students should know how to log on. So um, they would just log on. If it's a middle school or high school, or they would just log on their laptop. Now, if it's elementary school, or they might not know how. And I'm not sure how much the teachers keep everything up to date. But anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to log on here. And it should be a number that starts with 4804. 4804 and then I'm going to just type in one of my students numbers as you can see a lot of them come here and log on so I'm just gonna pick well I'm gonna type one in all right and then the password which All right, so it's logging on, and you're gonna see a bunch of icons. Um, this is where the students can find their textbooks. A lot of them don't bring textbooks home anymore. Um, look at all these things. This is where they get on iReady if they have iReady. This is where they get on digital backpack apps. Um, so a lot of times if you go, is it in here, you might be able to find their textbooks in there. Yeah, so there's different textbooks in here, different programs. A lot of their homework, especially if they're in middle or high school, is going to be right in here, one of these things. Um, but so what I'm going to do first is show you how to check their grades because this is for students of all ages, elementary, middle, and high school. And then after that, I'm going to show you more about Canvas. So here we go. What you're going to want to do is click on Skyward. And then you're going to have to sign in again. Yeah, this is a different student, so. Okay, so it's that same 4804 number and not this one, but whatever your student's ID number is, and they should know it, they really should. All right, so maybe not if they're in elementary school, but you could get it from their teacher. So it's their student number at students, with an S, dot OCPS dot net. And then their password is the same password that you typed in when you got on Launchpad. And see my Launchpad app is still open over here. So 
you can easily go right back there and do something else. But anyway, so you're gonna click on sign in. Okay, so when you get here, you're going to sign into Gradebook. So once you get into Gradebook, it should bring up all the grades. If you wanna change the display of it, you click on display options, which is right here. And do you wanna see all the grades or do you wanna just see the current grades? So this will show the previous period and then the current period is in yellow. I don't know if it's always gonna be in yellow, but should be. Anyway, then what you're gonna do is if you want to, so their grades are here. So this is period one, this is period two, and this is like the combined semester grade. So we're in the middle, well, we're not in the middle, but we're in period two right now. And then the semester one grade will be the average of period one and period two. So if you wanna see what, what the students um, have to do, you go in, you click this little arrow right here, and it's going to show you a lot of things. And click next 10, and it will show you more. Um, <clears throat> and so, like, these are the grades that we don't really can't do anything about anymore because that's still in period one, but now we're in period two. It looks like the student is doing a really good job getting a lot of hundreds. Now this one is empty, so it could mean that um, the teacher didn't grade it yet because that was just a few days ago, um, or maybe it's not turned in, but normally there's gonna be a zero there if it's not turned in, so that would be something to ask your student, like, did you do this assignment? And then they'll say yes or no or whatever, and um, they'll be like, yeah, I turned it in. Probably they did. And especially if they're getting good grades like this. So um, that is how you check their grades. And I would really focus more on like the student's grade is really good in this class. I would focus on the classes that he or she's not doing so well on and just kind of focus mostly on those because if they're getting good grades, they figured out how to do what the teacher needs for that class. And um, yeah, so I think the elementary students, teachers might not update this as much as middle and high school. I don't know. I think the teachers had to figure it all out this, this first period too, because it's new for them and it's new for everybody. So anyway, that's, it's pretty easy. And then you can go down to the next class. So I think that's good enough for Skyward. Um, what I would recommend is that, well, in elementary school, your students already have an agenda, probably from their school. But in high school um, and middle school, they don't have one anymore. So I'd recommend that you get your child one because it's kind of difficult to see what homework's coming up. Um, but if your child's in elementary school, you probably don't need to watch anymore because this is pretty much all you'll need to know. But if your child's in middle school or high school, um, keep watching because I'm gonna show you some more things about Canvas. All right, so one way you can see what's coming up is by looking in here. Times the teachers will list what's coming up like this subject the teacher is doing that pretty well so 11 5 11 2 well 11 2 already passed um, but you'll see what's coming up here you can see the dates not all teachers update this um, as quickly as others so yep. this is a, this is a good place to start um, but then I'm going to show you Canvas. So what you're going to do is we're going to get out of this and we're going to go to Canvas. And Canvas is this, um, this red dotted, I don't know. That's it, Canvas, okay? Click on that. The dashboard. 
this is all the subjects and what's coming up. Not everybody's dashboard looks like this. This is um, a high schooler. Um, but when I'm in here, like the first place I'll, I would start is the calendar. So click on the calendar and then you can see what's coming up. And we're in the beginning of November. All the subjects are over here. And they're, they're color coded. So um, what you can do is see what's coming up. So this was November 1st. There's a lot of things due. If it's crossed off, that either means that they finished it or um, the assignment is closed so they can no longer get into it. Um, here's what's coming up. And some teachers are really good about putting this in there, which makes it helpful. And other teachers aren't so good about that. So um, what I would really recommend is a planner like this that has Monday through Wednesday on one side and Thursday and Friday in the weekend on the other side. And then that way they can, um, it's got, you know, hours so they can go by their subject, like what class they have for a second and so on. And then they can write down what's due because sometimes, um, the, the students can't really look on Skyward or, or Canvas to, see what's going up or they have to look in six different places because they have six different classes. So what I would recommend that is that you, if they're having trouble keeping up with all their homework is that you get one of these planners for them and also help them look through subject by subject, write down things that are coming up. So put the, in, put the, assignments when they're due. So like, for example, if they have something due January 6th, you would put it here in the order of their classes. So if they have science first, their science assignment that's due on Monday would be here. If they have a project coming up um, for Friday, you know, they could put it over here and put it in the spot where they have class and maybe get different colors of ink um, to make it fun. Might work for some of the students to make it look real nice and pretty. And like if they have a, if they have something coming up in a month or in two weeks, they could put it in the weekend area, like um, project due January 30th, something like that. So anyway, that's enough of that. We will get back to canvas um because like i said not everything is on here this is a good place to see when things are due but as you can see there's only a couple classes here um just dit and looks like sign language yeah okay so the calendar is a good place to start and then if you know let's say they're not doing good in the class you're going to go over to the courses Yeah, this is a different view than the high school. I mean, this is a high school student. It's a little bit different view from the other ones I've seen. But so let's say they're having a problem in English honors. So you click on that and then you can go to go, to, go ahead and go to um, modules because that's where like all the stuff is that they have to do. <clears throat> the class is different. And um, yeah, this is really weird. So we're, we're gonna go into grades or let's try assignments. See, this is why the first period was kind of hard for the kids to get used to. It's because it's like you have all of these different links and you're not really sure where to go at first. So let's just try assignments. So here's something that's coming up um, 
it's a text text set. Um, it was due November 1st, but it's still in there, not yet graded. And then here's something that was. So these are all the past assignments. Um, and it's going from the most recent to the oldest. And once they're closed, their most teachers will not open it again. A lot of times it's open for a whole week, so they have a whole week to work on it. Um, like I said, that planner will really help them get stuff done on time. Um, so it looks like there's nothing new here. Uh, another place teachers might, might put something in announcements. So I don't know if this teacher does or not. Yep, this is a good place to see. This is due. This is already passed, but hopefully they'll have something up or they'll announce it on that day or whatever. Um, and the teachers are telling the students in class what's what's coming up. And at that point is when it would be a good idea to write it down in their planner. Um, okay, so announcements, modules was no good. So these, the, all these links are different places that they might have work, like study mate, some, some students have to do things in there that's gonna get graded. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, and then if you click on grades, these grades might not be the most up to date because everything that's supposed to be graded, like officially graded, is in Skyward. So some teachers, oh, here's a good one. This one says late. Um, this one, it looks like they are grading. So, um, yeah, so now you can understand why it may have been tricky for your student to kind of catch on the first period, but now they should be professionals at this because they've used it every day. Um, but the thing that I'm seeing is low grades are mostly due to not knowing when things are due and not having a good system for reminding themselves. And this is going to be a good life skill if they have a calendar, not a calendar on the computer, but something on paper that they can look at every day and have a whole week in front of them and see what's most important to get done first. So anyway, I hope this video helped you. Um, if you like it and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you know any other parents who might be struggling, please share this video with them. I know that it's been a tough first period for a lot of people, so you're not alone. But we're going to do our best to make sure our students are successful for the rest of the school year. And have a great day.